pandemic of COVID-19, when everyone is bothered about immunity booster, we have also seen about the B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte. Today, our main topic of interest will be about T cells or T lymphocyte. Before going to the main topic, let us know about our immunity. The immune system is a complex network of cell and protein that defend the body against infection. The immune systems keep a record of every germs, even microbes. It has ever defected or detected so that it can recognize and destroy the microbes quickly if entered into the body again. So, it has the very strong type of memory. Now, let us know how many type of lymphocyte cells are there. Acquired immunity. These B cells and T cells come under the acquired immunity. We have two type of immunity. One is innate immunity and second is acquired immunity. The immunity we gather or we acquire when we encounter with any of the disease or microbes. Acquired immunity is a pathogen specific. It is a characteristic by memory. Means it is about all memory. This means that our body when it encounter pathogen for the first time produce a response called primary response which is of low intensity. However, subsequent encounter with the same pathogen, a highly intensified memory is found that is called secondary memory or anasmetic response. This means our body have a memory of the first encounter. The primary and secondary immune systems are carried with the help of special type of lymphocyte present in our body. B lymphocytes and T lymphocyte. Today our main focus will be on T lymphocyte. Let's start with this. Understanding the T cell of immune system. The T cell or T lymphocyte contribute to our immune defense in two major ways. Some help to regulate the complex working of the overall immune response while others are cytotoxic and directly contact infect cell and destroy them. Chief among the regulatory T cells are helper T cells. They are needed to activate many immune cells including B cells and other T cells. Means the T helper cells activate the B lymphocyte cell or B cell and other T cell. Cytotoxic T cell sometimes called killer T cells help to rid your body of the cells that had been infected by virus as well as cells that have been transferred by cancer but have not yet adapted to evade the immune detection system. These are all responsible for the rejection of tissue and organ graft. Means if any other organ came in our body, this T cell will fight with that. So when the tissue and organ grafting is done, it is to be signified that the T cell is completely been matched with the new thing. Today, this up to this, our next topic will be discussed later. That's all for today. Have a great day ahead.